फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू कंट्रोल यस का आवर ड्राइव विथ प्रॉक्सीमिटी सेंसर फॉर दिस कनेक्शन वी कनेक्टेड टू प्रॉक्सीमिटी सेंसर फर्स्ट फॉर द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ ड्राइव एंड सेकेंड फॉर स्टॉपिंग ऑफ ड्राइव एंड ऑल्सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रोटेट यूर मोटर इन फॉरवर्ड एंड रिवर्स बोथ डायरेक्शन सो फॉर डायरेक्शन चेंज वी कनेक्ट वन सेलेक्टर स्विच ओके In this video, we will learn all about this connection, how to do practically connection, and also which parameters required for this connection. Okay, so first we see how it works. After that, we will learn practically connection. Okay, you can see when first sensor is operate, so our motor rotate in forward direction. Okay, motor is start. When second sensor operate, so motor is stop. Okay. Now for direction change, first we need to select a selector switch. Okay, so first we select a selector switch. Now when starting sensor is operate, so motor rotation will change. Okay, you can see motor rotate in reverse direction, and when stop sensor is operate, so motor will stop. Okay, and in this video we will also learn how to do potentiometer connection. For yes, Kava drive. Okay, so first we understand control terminal function. After that, we will learn connection. So in this drive, we have total seven digital inputs from S one to S seven. Okay, we will learn how to program this digital input and how to do practically wiring with the digital input. So we have total seven digital inputs. Okay, and for connection, we use SC. Okay, SC four. multiple input common okay so input common for 0 volt okay if you want to do wiring with plus 24 volt so just use hc and h1 which is plus 24 volt in this video we will do wiring with ac and also for potentiometer connection we have a1 a1 for analog input voltage type because potentiometer reference is voltage type so a1 terminal is used for potentiometer reference if you have transducer so you need to use a2 terminal okay for analog input voltage or current type okay and for potentiometer positive supply we need to use plus v terminal okay for 10 volt dc and also for potentiometer 0 volt we need to do connection with ac analog common which is 0 volt okay first see specifications of sensor so for this connection we use two sensor first is start sensor the start sensor is npn ano type sensor okay when sensor operate so negative supply will come okay because it is ano type sensor okay and because we are using drive ac terminal 0 volt and negative so just we need to use npn type sensor and because second sensor is stopping sensor so for a stop sensor we need to connect npn nc type sensor in normal condition supply comes continuously when sensor operate so supply will cut up okay so for a stopping we use npn nc type sensor and for a starting we use npn ano type sensor i hope you clear the concept okay npn ano type sensor that means when sensor operate so supply comes okay and npn nc type sensor when sensor operate so supply will cut up i hope you clear the concept which is what is the difference of npn ano and npn nc type sensor and for sensor input power supply we connect to one smps okay for sensor 24 volt dc supply so first we see connection for potentiometer in this potentiometer first terminal is positive center terminal is 0 volt and negative and last terminal is reference okay of potentiometer you can see drawing of potentiometer okay so first we need to do plus 10 volt and ac we take ac one connector and connect to center terminal and for positive supply we take one connector from plus v and connect this connector to potentiometer first terminal and potentiometer reference when potentiometer rotate so voltage comes so connector we connected from potentiometer reference to a one terminal okay so potentiometer connection is now done now learn a connection for sensor for dc supply we connect one smps 
so in smps first we need to connect a line and neutral in input terminal so line with neutral we connect okay and for sensor connection we need to use plus and minus 24 voltage dc so dc comes here plus v and minus v terminal so for smps red wire is positive so we take one connector from positive for plus supply and blue wire for negative or zero volt and black wire for reference okay when sensor operate so supply comes from this black wire black wire is a reference terminal because anode type sensor so sensor will operate so supply comes and this is nc type sensor so for nc we use blue wire light blue wire okay when sensor operate so supply will cut up okay so first sensor connection red wire we take one connector and connect to the smps v terminal and second sensor positive also connect okay so just we loop positive supply to smps for negative we take one connector from blue wire and connect a second sensor also blue wire and connect to the smps so just we do plus and minus connection input connection for sensor input connection is now done for both sensor when first sensor operate so black wire supply comes here and connect this wire to s1 terminal okay when first sensor is operate so command comes in s1 terminal we need to program s1 terminal for a start command okay when first sensor operate so s1 command s1 terminal supply comes and we will program this s1 terminal for a start okay and also for second sensor when second sensor operate so we take one connector from nc terminal okay when sensor operates so supply will cut up and connect this connector to s2 terminal okay we will program this s2 terminal for stop command okay so s1 program for start and s2 program for stop okay and also for reverse and forward because in normal condition we need to use ac sc terminal for control wiring because we are using smps supply we are not using ac terminal and also in digital input terminal we are giving zero volt okay and also for reverse and forward we need to do wiring with selector switch so because we are doing with wiring with zero volt so we take one connector from smps zero volt okay if you are doing wiring with plus so you need to take plus because we are doing wiring with zero volt so we take zero volt and connect selector switch output terminal connect this terminal to s5 terminal okay when selector switch operate so motor run in reverse direction when selector switch in the stop condition so motor run in forward direction i hope you clear the concept when selector switch operates so motor will run in reverse direction for selector switch stop condition motor will run in forward direction also we are not using ac terminal and we are doing all wiring with zero volt okay and also digital input wiring with zero volt so we need to give zero volt to ac terminal of drive okay so we take one connector from smps negative and connect to the ac terminal if we are doing wiring with plus 24 volt so we need to give ac terminal plus 24 volt okay because we are doing wiring with zero volt so we take zero volt and connect to the ac terminal okay i hope you clear the concept of how we are do this wiring okay now see which parameter is required for this control wiring for parameter setting just we need to press up key and enter pra for parameter pra enter first parameter is a101 so shift key press shift key press a103 we need to set 3330 3 times 3 and 0 for 3 wire mode okay so first we program drive for 3 wire mode now for some basic parameters b101 for frequency reference selection because we are running drive with fixed frequency so for fixed frequency we need to set 0 in b101 okay so we set 0 if you connect to potentiometer so set 1 second parameter is b102 b102 for run command selection 
because we start stop drive with sensor or external terminal so we need to set 1 if you running your drive with local mode so set 0 because we control drive with remote mode so set 1 in b102 next parameter is e104 for maximum frequency so maximum frequency we set 60 in e104 okay maximum frequency is 60 set next parameter is for digital input programming okay so for h1 s2 we need to program h101 h101 for s1 terminal so in three wire mode it is already programmed for 0f and for h102 for s2 already programmed for three wire mode okay and h105 for s5 reverse and forward so h105 set already is zero because we program drive for three wire mode so all parameters already set for digital inputs okay let's see working for this connection when first sensor is operate so run command come in s1 terminal motor running in forward direction when first command is come when s2 because we use nc of this sensor so when second sensor operates so this supply cut up in normal condition supply comes continuously if sensor operate so this supply will cut up and drive will stop okay and for reverse and forward selection when selector switch is in stop condition so motor run in forward direction when selector is in operate condition so motor run in reverse direction i hope you clear the concept how to run your cover drive with sensor and reverse and forward if you like this video please press like button for today's enough we'll meet in next video